Hello and welcome to Sport This Morning. I'm Cecilia Amalgwe. It's great to have you join us again. I'm Taya Salah. Let's get started with the show now. Of course, uh, Nigeria's Senior Tennis Championship guys couldn't reclaim the title that they won at the all African Games. Well, in the missed doubles, they are in the finals again. And of course, they will also be facing Egypt. What's going to happen in this one? Can they actually go ahead to win the missed doubles after losing out in the men's event? And the singers. Mm, Cecilia, we'll see. This is how it out. I mean, uh, that uh, team final, I, I said it yesterday, I couldn't really predict it. So it wasn't really a surprise to me that they lost in that one. Better luck to them in the mixed doubles final. And also on the program, we're talking about Canon Peelers. They are right now trying to qualify for the FIBA Africa Champions Cup. And for Canon Peelers, they remain unbeaten in Zone 3 right there in Togo. Also on the show, um, Cecilia, uh, the Manchester Derby part two was yesterday and um, United won this particular one. One nil curtsy, one matter. And this man right here, Pep Guardiola, is enduring his worst run as a manager. He hasn't won a game in six. Um, Cecilia, the question is, is it time to panic? Is this a drama or is it just a bleep and Pep Guardiola will return to winning ways very soon? Yeah, we'll just wait and hope because the figure <laughs> here is looking so frustrated and outcast. I mean, mm. this is not Pep Guardiola at all. But he said something that, look, coaches, uh, players and coaches win games. So whatever happens, we'll keep our fingers crossed for yeah. that. Now, let's yeah. talk about the African Senior Championship in Morocco. Well, Nigeria, well, yesterday we were thinking, okay, they can actually, you know, do the double over Egypt after having all of their games. But yesterday they couldn't do that in Morocco. They lost to Egypt 3-2. It was a keenly contested game for Nigeria. You know, losing that 3-2 in the final of the 2016 ITTF African Senior Championship. Mm. Well, the victory recorded by the Egyptian women team against Tunisia was not as sweet as the one against Nigeria. And take a look at the celebration after that. It is more like they've actually won the biggest trophy when it comes to tennis. Yeah, but then when you play against a strong side like Nigeria, you just have to celebrate after doing that. Yeah. While they encounter the quality, experience of the players was there. The fans, you know, were actually happy with what happened. Aruna Kodri showed his worth, you know, uh, against uh, Omar Assad. But somehow the trio of uh, Shegu Terola, Bodhi Abiodu, and of course, all of them, well, they just couldn't match that strength for strength. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, it just didn't work out that Nigeria had to lose 3-2. Mm, too bad, Cecilia. But that's how it is. I mean, the best two sides in Africa. So, um, surely they have to be a winner and a loser. Unfortunately, it's Nigeria this time around. And um, yeah, Cecilia, there's, there's not a lot more to say about it other than uh, we're hoping uh, for the mixed doubles and final that will, you know, take place on Friday, that uh, the duo of... Um, you know, uh, Shegun Toriola and uh, Funke Oshonaki can come out top uh, in that particular one. Yeah, definitely. Omar Sa actually, you know, he won his game against Omar Sa, but somehow uh, El Bali, yeah, Mohamed, El was the Bali, one who yeah. actually, you know, got everyone talking when he defeated Shegun Toriola. And at the end of the day, uh, Egypt won that one. But another thing is they are in the missed doubles finals. That's the one everyone will be looking forward to on Friday to see if Nigeria can actually well, give their best. Proud to their semi-final clash against Egypt, the two of Africa's most decorated athletes uh, were able to edge out South Africa and Algeria before beating Egypt 4-1. So right now they are in the final. For the final, of course, Nigeria team will battle defending champion Egypt. And we know the people they are doing the first there, Omar, so of course, Dina, Mashir, both of them will definitely be in action here. So the finals of the missed doubles is going to be on Thursday. And the draws for the singles event is going to be later today. So the singles event is going to start soonest. But first of all, we have to look at the missed doubles to see if Nigeria can get something out of that championship. We know them going there wasn't really so easy. But somehow they managed to get there. And we'll just continue to monitor what's happening there. Bye. Mm, yeah, I mean, yeah. Final, we'll see what who comes out top in that particular final between uh, that's on Friday, uh, the 28th. And... Um, for the find for the singles, and we'll find out um, the, the draw will ha happen later today. And uh, we'll see. Uh, obviously, the usual suspects: uh, Shegun Torella and um, 
and no, I mean, I beg your pardon, Aaron Quadri, as well as Omar Asa, you know, surely, um, you know, are tipped to get to the final of the singles event. So Cecilia will keep on monitoring uh, the performance of Nigeria in Morocco. Yeah, definitely. From then, I'll quickly move to long tennis. Uh, Vienna Open, what's happening there? Andy Murray, well, he's on course right now to actually claim that number one spot that he <laughs> wants to get. Uh, yes, no. Vinny was able to beat Martin Cleason in the opening round uh, yesterday. And the game was actually, it was really, really tight for Andy Murray. 6-3, 7-5. That was pretty tight. The first one was actually okay, the first set. But the second set, I think he had to dig deep to be able to beat uh, Martin, Martin Cleason. Cleason. Yeah, he yes. won the first set 6 3. Then uh, Cleason fought back in the second and won it 6 uh, 7 6. So he had to go to a third round, and Anne Murray really came out fighting in that one by winning 6 love. So, uh, Cecilia, you mentioned about Anne Murray actually being on course to overtake uh, Novak Djokovic. If he continues playing this way and he continues to win, and uh, for some reason Novak Djokovic you know, decides you know, to lose then he has a very good chance. But the moment is still 915 points behind um, Novak Djokovic on the ATP ranking. So he still has a lot to do. He has his work cut out. But the momentum clearly is on the side now. Yeah. And um, you never know how and, um, Novak Djokovic is going to end the season. Uh, so he has a very good chance of doing it. But I don't think it's going to happen this year. I think it might happen early next year. Okay, not this year. But if it doesn't happen this year, I don't know what's going to happen next year because Djokovic, once he is back and fully fit, he will just start winning everything again. Mm. But for but, Cleason to be able to take a set off Andy Murray shows that, hey, the guy actually needs to work out. But somehow the final set that ended 6-love, he came back and, of course, he was able to beat him to go through. And up mm. next for him going to be Gio Simon yeah. in the second round later today. I mean, what, Andy Murray, what, he knows what he has to do. It's very yes. clear. He has to keep winning. He has to win in Vienna. Then, you know, then he goes to the ATP, you know, World Tour Finals in London later on. He's got to win that one as well. So I hope that another Djokovic doesn't go too far. That's the only way he's going to have to, um, that's, that's the going, only way he's, he's going like to he's not just overtake. Himself, yeah, that's the only way he's going to overtake uh, another Djokovic. Like I said, I don't think it's going to happen this year. It's going to happen next year. If it happens ever, because, uh, you know, Djokovic, when it's time to really fight back, he knows how to do it. He's been disappointing in the last uh, couple of weeks, you know. So uh, I imagine he's champion at the beat so to return to winning ways. But Fandom Murray, whether he becomes number one or not, is had a great year. You know, he's won Wimbledon as well as won uh, the Olympics. You know, he's won 69, uh, 65 matches on tour this year. That's a, so lot. That's a lot. That's a lot. So he's had a great year, regardless of what happens. You know, at the end of the season, I don't think Andy Murray will be uh, disappointed at all. As well, he's had a no, fantastic season. When you able to win Grand Slam and even retain your Olympic gold medal, <laughs> I mean, I think it's, that's, that's it's, the icing it's major. On the cake. Yeah. Okay, we'll talk about WTA finals now in Singapore. Today we're focusing on White's group. Sevlena Kuznetsova, remember her first game when she had to cut her hair in the middle of a game and go on to actually win the game. But this time around, she didn't have, she didn't, she didn't need to actually do that because yeah, the hair it was getting into her eyes and so she just had to like stay calm and she was able to have another Titanic battle, you would say, against Carolina Pliskova's 3-6, 6-2, She doesn't get tired. Mm. I mean, she battled toe to toe for two hours, 17 minutes. And at the end of the day, she just had to collapse and lay hey, here. Finally, it's over. But right now, she's in the semi finals. So, the yeah. sixth time she's getting to the semi finals in the WTA finals. So, you'd say it's a good one for her. Yeah, definitely a good one for uh, Kuset Nova. Um, but for me, um, Agnes Radwanska, for me, I think uh, a, lot of people, a lot of people are not talking about her. It's been all about Angelic. She Kemba. won it last year. She's the defending champion. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> but then in terms of this year, she hasn't been yeah. really good. And it's all about Angelic Keba. Angelic Keba has won her first two matches in the red group. So um, I've tipped her to win this particular tournament, but then you can never rule out um, a player like uh, uh, Kuset Nova. So... Um, since, um, a yeah. player like uh, not because it's Radwanska, the player, yeah. yeah, Radwanska, you can't rule her out at all. She's still going strong as well. Uh, she won her own match in straight set, seven six six three. You know, by beating Gabin Muguruza. I mean, Gabin Muguruza. You know, she did great by winning uh, the French Open earlier this year, but she hasn't really been able to sustain the momentum. So um, for me, um, it's either going to be. Uh, 
Angelique Kerber or defending champion Agnieszka Radwanska winning the WTA uh, finals in Singapore. Yeah, that's the way it's going to be for Gabi Muguruza. She said she's been eliminated yeah. from the tournament. She hasn't won a game, <laughs> so obviously she's out. So it's yep. going it's going to be now between Agnieszka Agnieszka Radwanska and uh, Kuznetsova. Well, both of them are already on. Mm. Mm -hmm. That's the way it is. They are in the semi-finals. So it simply means Gabi Muguruza. She is out of the tournament. Well, it's a good one. Even getting to the WTA finals is really not easy because for the top eight women in the world, remember Selena Kuznetsova, she had to wait till the last day for her to be able to get the spot. She could have gone to the British get counter, but somehow she was able to just continue with that form. She was in Kremlin in, Kremlin in Russia, mm. the tournament she won on Saturday and getting into the WTA finals in Singapore. Man, the movement must have been tiring, I guess. Very, very tiring for her.